Hello everyone, thanks for tuning into today's second video. We're going to have a look at the ECM WF for today slash six weeks look ahead model for today's second video. Uh, this is going to take us to the end of January. Wow, wow, wow. And I shall get on that for you in a moment. Just save that first video say was our 6M UK weather forecast. Got the week ahead forecast and a 10 to 14 day coming up to you today as well. So please like, share and subscribe on all of today's videos and content. Thank you so much for everyone for doing that. And thank you so much to ECMWF.INT for supplying the charts as well, by the way. Thank you so much, GC. Right, let's do it. Uh, I'm going to start off with the week one mean cell pressure anomaly from the 18th to the 25th December. So, uh, next Monday for his Christmas Day. Wow, wow, wow. So, um, we're going to have high pressure out to the Atlantic. Low pressure will be to our north and northeast. Just going to send a jet stream on a bit of a northwest southeast alignment. So, looking quite unsettled. And maybe a little bit cooler as well due to the proximity of the ridge and the trough. This is how the 500 millibar height is on it. He's looking then below as heights into northern and pressure with a ridge out in the Atlantic. And again, that's the semi jet stream and the wind flow direction on a northwest to southeast trajectory. Temperature anomalies. Uh, as we get into next week, look above average for Ireland, England, and Wales. But it could be a little bit on the cooler side as we push up towards the far north of Scotland. Most parts of Europe are looking pretty mild as well, by the way. As our precipitation is concerned, it's not a reasonably unsettled week, especially so in the northern half of the country and into Ireland as well with above average rainfall. Okay, we too will be uh, Christmas Day to New Year's Day. Here we go. And again, we see a rather Atlantic German pattern. We've got a trough of low pressure in over Scandinavia, which can be quite a cold pattern, but because of its high pressure down towards France, Spain, and Portugal, I suspect that's going to keep the wind direction basically in to a westerly and as far as 500 mil of our heights are concerned we look like that with below average heights into the north of uh, Europe from the Atlantic above average heights down to Spain out into the Atlantic as well and we bring in the wind from more of a western or northwesterly direction yet again temperature anomalies get milder oh gosh Never mind. We'll all be too plastered to notice anyway. Um, no, above average temperatures there from New Year's Day, from, uh, Christmas Day to New Year's Day. A mild and average Christmas week. Again. And rather wetter than average too with above average rainfall. Right, well, week three <laughs> will be New Year's Day to the 8th of January. Let's have a look. Oh, that's a little bit more interesting. We've got hints of a little bit of higher pressure towards Greenland. Maybe trough of low pressure into the northeast. Europe. Could that be get wind into more of a northerly? Could it, could it, could it? Could it, could it, could it? 500 millibar heights look like this. So again, above, uh, below average heights, I should say. Transferring more towards the north and northeast Europe, above average heights towards the south of Green, but more on the Canadian side. Lots of cold pattern for America, by the way, with that trough of low pressure, um, you know, into uh, east part of America. So I reckon that could force cold air down into the east part of the states. For us, well, we're not that far away and bringing down some cold air, but also this ridge down towards Spain is, uh, as ever, uh, a complicating factor. Matt's going to try to maintain milder conditions there. Um, the temperature anomaly is still holding up above average for the UK and either both Scandinavia and into the North Atlantic. It's turning colder than average through there. And as far as precipitation is concerned here we go and it's wetter than normal another wetter than average week to come so the deluge is back in business everybody the deluge is back Ooh, i don't know week four will be the 8th or 15th of january and uh, maybe just strengthening that high pressure signal around greenland a little bit more there 
low pressure looks like it's being shoved further and further eastwards. So you will think we might be opening the door to door for North Easy Wind. But I suspect something will be happening for a spanner in the works. Um, 500 millibar heights look like that. So still high pressure around here. We've still got some higher pressure down towards Spain. Um, but it is being flattened off a little bit. That should be getting colder, I would have thought. With winds coming in from north again lots the cold pattern here for much of central and eastern america as well with uh, that trough of the uh, low pressure how is the temperature anomaly looking it's still above average will not go cold will it so a cold average up across Scandinavia and the northeast of europe but the uk and ireland remaining rather above average and it's uh, yet again another Wetter than average week to come with above average rainfall. Note we do see driving out to this in the North Atlantic and between Greenland and Scandinavia. Reason being, we will have blocking up here. And uh, so it looks like we should be setting up a cold pattern there, really, doesn't it? High pressure through the North Atlantic up to uh, there and uh, low pressure through here. Why isn't that bringing colder air from the northeast? Possibly because of all of this low pressure of the Atlantic which is maybe going in that direction. Notice it's still relatively dry through there, and um, there's still a bit of high pressure in the Mediterranean, which we need to get rid of to get into a proper cold pattern. Week 5 will be the 15th, 22nd of January. High pressure again towards Greenland and Iceland. Low pressure across uh, much of Europe, and as far as the 500 millibar heights are concerned, that's how it looks. So again, we see blocking up towards Greenland in the North Atlantic, top low pressure to our uh, northeast again you will think that's going to get wind into a colder northeast will the temperature normally drop and now it is beginning to fall away so it takes until the very second half of january to happen but it looks like we begin to turn a little bit cooler then though the coldest weather is still across northern parts of europe and as far as precipitation goes it looks like that so again we can see where it's relatively dry up here with quite a bit of high pressure and then the low pressure is down there and in between we should be bringing in wind for a colder easily right okay well let's go to week six lastly this gets us to the end of january it's the 22nd 29th of the month this is it and again, quite interesting signals here, uh, with high pressure still sitting around Greenland. Do you want to have a look at the North Pole view with that one? So, yeah, that's quite a large area of high that we've got there, uh, up towards Greenland. Oh, once again... <laughs> And um, and as far as uh, Europe is concerned, well, low pressure is through here. Again, could that be bringing down colder? No, the signals here could be turned increasingly cold as we go through January. January. The 500 millibar, I'm so sorry, everybody. 500 millibar heights and all this, we're blocking around green and trough low pressure of Scandinavia, Northern Europe. Again, between the two, could we have the wind in from the north? How's the temperature anomaly looking there? So it looks like it's going to be a very cold January across Northern Europe, I have to say. Northern Europe into the North Atlantic, Iceland too. So it could be a really cold January through there, freezing cold for most of the month. Um, we're not as cold as that, but I reckon the second half of January could be hinting at a cool down here in particular. And finally, you see this driving average still around Greenland and Iceland. We've got the blocking and wetter than average uh, across much of Europe. Wow, wow, wow. So quite an interesting update from the EC for today uh, this week. It looks like we could be setting up a colder pattern into uh, January. Christmas looks a write off though. I'm so sorry anybody who's waiting for a cold uh, white Christmas. You're going to have to wait for another year if, <laughs> if that is correct. So uh, Christmas, New Year, early January, all looking Atlantic, Atlantic, Atlantic. 
wet, 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 windy, 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 and uh, all of that stuff. It looks like there's a change that might be happening later on into January as blocking increases towards green, forcing the jet stream southwards and driving in colder air from the northeast. And if that happens, we could be in for a colder and more wintry middle second half of January. All good for the gas weather this winter forecast, I have to say. I'd be very pleased <laughs> if it all panned out like this, but unfortunately, it's only a snapshot, and it's only from one model, and it's not the most reliable model either, particularly at any range. So, um, no, yeah, you know, if it came out like this, I would be very pleased, but <laughs> I doubt it will. Anyway, we'll find out in the next few weeks. If you've enjoyed the video, please do like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for doing that. And uh, we'll be back shortly with weekend forecast and a 10 to 14 day or two. This week's EC42 day, that's all for now, and thanks for watching.